Hey guys and welcome back. This time as you can see I tried to do this uh, makeup tutorial and uh, makeup for summer as you can see it's really colored. So yeah if you want to see how I get to have this makeup I invite you to see all the tutorial. Enjoy! So first I'm starting with applying my primer which is this Lancome La Base Pro and I will apply this with my fingers all over my face. So after I'm done with the primer, I am taking my buffing brush from Real Techniques and my Lancome Tint Miracle in color 035 Beige Doré. So I need to tell you that when I recorded this video tutorial, the light was too much in my room. As you can see, even my foundation color looks like an orange or something really really bright even if it's not so if you want to see the real colors check the photos please because um, yeah here the colors are too bright so yeah next um, I'm doing my neck a little bit and then I'm moving to the concealer and uh, I'm using the NYX HD photogenic concealer and I will apply this um, on my red spots let's say and I will buff this I will blend this with a buffing brush. For the eyes primer, I will use this P2 Forever Intense. It's an eyeshadow, a creamy eyeshadow. Now I must tell that this is the best eyelids base that I ever used. <laughs> it's actually not a base, but I use it like a base because it's really working. Next I am taking this Claire's brush with the Foxy color from Naked to Palette and I will apply this eyeshadow base all over my lids. I'm doing this step because I want to really blend my colors uh, later. So next I will use this Bidelium 785 and this eyeshadow from Strong Palette by Sleek and I will define my crease with this gentle and step by step. Because my brush is really soft, I will choose my Bidelium 776 and I will blend everything very, very good. To define my outer corner and my crease, I am choosing this number 7 brush. It's a really small brush and the same eyeshadow from Storm Palette by Sleek. And I will do that really gentle so. As you can see, I'm defining really good my outer um, corner of my eye. I am coming back with the same 776 brush. And then I'm taking this Urban Decay Naked 2 brush and this really nice pink from Celestial Palette by Slick. And I will slowly add on this color to my crease so as you can see in the center of my lids I didn't apply any eyeshadow yet because I'm coming now with this really nice pink made from Celestial flat and this Claire's flat brush and I apply all this color in the center of my lids inner corners of my lids I will be using a, a number 7 brush it's actually a pretty fluffy brush but flat and this really really nice uh, eyeshadow from Storm Palette and I will apply that on my inner corners and I will drag all this eyeshadow into the really nice matte pink after that I'm coming with this Real Techniques br blending brush and I will brush all the sharp edges that I have in my makeup. I will come back again with my Urban Decay brush and this brown for also special slick palette and I will uh, apply it all across the, my lids 
but uh, what I'm trying to do here is to make this really bright pink a little bit uh, darker because I don't want to be such a strong pink. So yeah, I'm uh, doing all these steps until I get what I want and then I'm coming back with the, the other edge of my Urban Decay brush and this really bright color from Storm Palette. And I will apply it into the inner corners of my lids. Next, with this uh, Twinkle Eye Pencil by Kiko in color 04, I will define my lower lash line and my water line. After this P2 call, I will come back with my Alvert uh, Natural Cosmetic Gel Eyeliner, which I really like a lot. And I will make a really nice and perfect line with this um, Real Techniques brush. So if you're not really comfortable making your eyelines from one shot with gel eyeliner, I really advise you to go exactly the way I did, first with a call and after that with the gel eyeliner. that will last longer and it will be even nicer. So next I'm using the same NYX Photogenic uh, Concealer, HD Photogenic Concealer and I will apply that uh, under my eyes and with a beauty blender as you can see. And because I can't reach all the the necessary points with my beauty blender I will use my concealer brush from Real Techniques and then I will apply a bit of that really light eyeshadow to my inner corners and then with this expert face brush from Real Techniques and my MAC Studio Fix foundation and powder in color and C30 I will apply this as a powder and I really like using this powder because it's really giving me that smooth look that I adore that I will use will be the Yves Rocher in a black color by Slick and this really nice brown together with my Real Techniques contouring brush and I will build in my contour step by step. As you can see I'm doing this really gentle because I don't want to get wrong and add too much color. 
So I'm applying this contour on the edges of my forehead and under my cheekbones. For blush I will use this Kiko blush brush and this really nice uh, blush from the same face kit from Sleek. It's a really really nice uh, blush because it has a bit of sparkle and that gives you the sensation of fresh all the time. For highlighting I'm using this blush brush from Echo Tools and this highlighter from the same face kit from Sleek. And I will apply it a bit on my nose, a bit on my chin and a bit on my forehead. As you can see I was coming back with a contour brush for contouring my nose too. For lips I'm using my favorite Kiko 900 and to a really nice and light color. So girls, that was it with my summary makeup, I hope you enjoyed watching my video and if you did you can show me that with a like and you can subscribe as well. I want to remember you that I do have a um, website which is www.makeupillusion.de where you can find many of my reviews for makeup products and the tutorials that I have for you. So until next time, don't forget to be beautiful and thank you for watching. I'll see you again. Bye-bye.